Good evening, folks. Welcome to a wonderful night in South Central Pennsylvania. I'm Terry Rooch, and this is Serious Automotive Training. Tonight, I want to continue on with our definitions to assist the students with the uh, recertification exam or their initial exam for the Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Safety Inspection Mechanic Certification. Tonight, I want to recap with some more definitions. We're going to follow up with two bulletins. We'll touch on a subject that's uh, a little bit of history in PA, and we'll call it a night. First off, let's talk about antique vehicles in Pennsylvania. The definition of an antique vehicle is a vehicle that is 25 years or older that's titled as an antique vehicle. The registration will follow as an antique, but what's important to remember here is if the vehicle's ever sold, it's titled antique, and it also has a registration on it, you could transfer the registration plate, which is the only scenario in Pennsylvania where you could transfer a plate other than to a family member. So the plate could follow the vehicle. Uh, I just want to talk on one little subject here. This is important because if someone has a 65 Chevrolet that they drive to work every day, and they don't want to inspect it, they get pulled over and they say, listen, this is an antique vehicle. It doesn't need to be inspected. Well, that is wrong. I have a bolt in here from back in 1999. The state classifies that. In the past, there's been some confusion as to whether or not vehicles that meet the definition of an antique without being registered as such were granted an exemption from the inspection process. The legislation has certified that only those vehicles registered as antique, which would be titled as antique, are exempt from inspection. So black and white, we have definition Antique vehicles are 25 years or older to qualify for title registration in Pennsylvania. Passenger car. Pennsylvania passenger car has 15 seats or less, so it holds 15 passengers. What's important to remember is in Pennsylvania, you can have a Chevrolet HHR. You can have a Chevrolet van that doesn't have windows all the way around. Doesn't have windows in the back and a hatch. According to Pennsylvania regulation, that is a truck. But as an inspection mechanic, when you inspect the vehicle, you should have the, the knowledge to present this to the customer. You should still go ahead and inspect the vehicle as it's titled and registered. But knowingly, you need to let the customer know that that vehicle should be registered in Pennsylvania. It's not your duty to stop them. You never want to tell a customer that you cannot safety inspect their vehicle. Knowing that it's going to fail, you have to inspect it for them. Let's move on to the next three. We'll talk about trucks in Pennsylvania. We have three types of truck classes. Light truck. A light truck in Pennsylvania is 11,000 pounds or less gross vehicle weight. Medium truck, 11,001 pound, all the way up to 17,000 pounds. Now we have heavy trucks. Heavy truck in Pennsylvania is 17,001, all the way up to 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. Anything over 8,000 gross vehicle weight, we consider it too heavy. <laughs> Our roads only support 80,000, so that's where you get into permits. So for inspection purposes, we talk about three truck weight categories. Uh, one other thing I want to point out, we talked about the uh, Honda Pulse already a few modules ago, the Honda Pulse motorcycle. Pennsylvania has a real nice fact sheet out on what they call the auto cycle. Auto cycle in Pennsylvania is a three wheel that you do not straddle the seat. You actually sit in it. So these are auto cycles. What's important to remember here is for an auto cycle, they do get inspected. They are motorcycles. But to drive an auto cycle, you need to have a car license. Very simple. Pennsylvania, you could have a motorcycle license without having a car license. Okay? Last but not least, Let's talk about modular homes. Modular homes in Pennsylvania are titled. When they're transferred, someone buys it, they transfer the title. I've done tra title transfers for these in the past. They don't pay tax, it's a Pennsylvania title, gets transferred to the new owner. So, let's take a quick look here. Since it's a beautiful full moon, we're gonna look at a 1959 new moon. This is a modular home. Today, you would inspect the bottoms. The modular carrier is a trailer. These, when they transport these to the house to where they're going to um, 
install them, they would get inspected. I've done many mechanics up in the Columbia County area that work on these. The facility sent the mechanics to me, certify them. They only want to inspect the trailers, the modular carrier. So remember what a modular home is, not to be confused with a motor home, okay? So, quick, we talked about antique vehicles, passenger car, 15 seats or less, windows all the way around, light truck, medium, heavy, auto cycle, the state has a great fact sheet out right now for auto cycles, and a modular home. By the way, when you do transfer, those are tax free. There is no license plate. One more thing we're going to talk about before we call it a night down here in beautiful southwestern Pennsylvania. Let's talk about inspecting out-of-state vehicles. Let's talk about inspecting vehicles, too. Someone brings their antique vehicle to you. It's titled, registered, beautiful 1965 Chevy. It's exempt. It doesn't need inspection. But the customer wants it inspected. Could you inspect that vehicle, even though it's exempt? Absolutely. Could we inspect out-of-state vehicles in Pennsylvania? Someone comes to us with a Virginia plate. They want their car inspected. Could we inspect it and put a Pennsylvania sticker on? Absolutely. We will see this. For example, in Virginia, the state needs their vehicle inspected in order for the insurance to renew. They will accept Pennsylvania insurance. So we could inspect it by our regulations and put a sticker on it. No problem. Here it is. 1995. Bulletin. Regulations provide that Pennsylvania inspection stations may affix stickers to vehicles registered in other states. However, unlike vehicles registered in PA, which normally have old stickers removed, out-of-state vehicles should not have the old stickers removed. It's in black and white. You would say, where am I ever going to see this? Other than the scenario I created for the antique, or in Virginia. Well, you may be living on the border in Ohio where they don't have an inspection procedure. In, in Ohio. So someone in Pennsylvania may want to sell their car, trade in over there. Well, the value of the car is so much greater with that PA inspection sticker because they know it passed the requirements. So we do have scenarios where you'll see this. Once again, I just wanted to recap on definitions. We're going to continue with a few modules, rolling through definitions before we get into the subchapters. We'll knock these out, continue to watch them to help you with your recertification or your initial certification, you got questions for me, enroll in one of my classes, should be in the Philadelphia area coming up shortly. You can always email me at Sirius Auto Training, it's S-E-R-I-U-S, Auto Training, at live or at yahoo.com. Follow me on LinkedIn at Terry Rooch, or just give me a shout out on YouTube. Have a good night, and uh, ci vediamo domani.